What's up guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how you can build zip lines just like this. So first of all, I'm going to use a glitch prop. But if you don't have that prop, I'm showing you exactly how you can build it. I'm using the red parker gallery to build this. Once you are done, go and copy your prop onto the map. Make sure that one of the props is on a higher vertical level than the other one. Once you've done that, you want to head to the galleries again. We're going to look up Ring Gallery A, and you want to select this tall metal piece. This is going to be the wire between the two zip lines. When you've put it down, you want to make it really tall, and you want to rotate it in a way so it connects the two zip lines. You most likely cannot get this completely perfect, so what you want to do when you've made it as close as you possibly can, is to go and adjust the zip line endpoints a little bit to make it match. Once you've done that, you want to copy the wire and you want to reset this rotation. This is to figure out how tall the prop is. Now that we know how tall it is, we want to go and find the objective device. We want to work with the squared objective device. The goal of this is to make it as tall as our wire, because this is what's going to keep the player in the air. For the settings of the objective device, make sure it's set to invulnerable and make sure the health bar is always hidden. Also, you want to make it invisible during the game and that's about it. You can also go and make it a little bit wider such that the player doesn't fall off. Once it's as high as the wire, you want to make another version and rotate it 90 degrees. Once you have this, you want to multi-select all the pieces and duplicate them onto the map. Rotate the pieces just like this. After that, place them down and reselect them. Now you want to rotate it a bit such that it has a slope. This is made such that the player can slide down just like this. So now we have the slope. Basically what we need now is something interactive such that you can interact with the zip line, get teleported up to the slope and slide down. So what we're gonna do with this is that we need a button for it. I'm gonna put a reset delay on it such that you can't just spam click it. I want to make sure it's enabled on GameStop. The interaction text should be enter zipline and I want it to transmit on channel 1. Make sure the interaction radius is pretty high as well because you want them to be able to select the zipline by hovering over it. Now we want to find a teleporter. You want to teleport to this teleporter when receiving from channel 1. After that you just want to make sure the teleporter is set to invisible and that it's facing in the same direction as the teleporter. Now we want to duplicate the teleporter. Because we want to make sure that once the player reaches the end, we want to teleport them again. So basically what you got to do to do this is putting the target group to target group A on the teleporter that's in the end of the zip line. And then you want to put down another teleporter in front of the zip line that has teleporter group A. Alright guys, that's basically it. This is how you make a zip line in Fortnite Creative. I know this zip line is a one way only since you're like sliding down and therefore won't be good for PvP maps. But I'm sure you guys will find it very useful for your solo adventure maps and puzzle maps. Other than that, I'm really excited to see what you guys are going to make from this. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please go and hit the like button down below. It really does mean a lot and I'll see you guys in the next video.